the problem with droughts, if you had a fire here and, you, and your um, land is burnt out, you say, I'll have to feed them straight away. The problem with dry feeds is you vacillate before you start making a decision. If there's, no, there's no fire to, to say, I have to make a decision. So try and act quickly and decisively. Um, as my, to re-emphasise, set, uh, set profiles. There's nothing wrong with going a condition score two profile. A small amount of feed for a long time, animals will survive very, very well. There are some downsides later on, but, but they will survive. There's nothing wrong with that, but at least have that in your mind, what you want to do. And please don't get too, the, the weak animals, the portion that's weak in those mobs, don't let them get too high as a percentage within that mob. Um, continue to do all your husbandry in an, um, things in a timely manner. Vaccinate if you vaccinate. At least, <laughs> at least do the drenching um, on time. Um, so don't cut back on what you normally do. Um, and uh, in, if you do choose a condition score two profile to go along, survival feeding, the downside of that is that you actually have to monitor them more frequently. Um, and so... Um, um, and I guess the last one is just keep reviewing all your decisions at, at, at each point in time. And that's the point about doing the condition score. By doing the condition score, you also have to make a decision whether you need to feed more, not, and whatever. If you don't have that, con that point to review your decision, you don't actually review your decision, you just keep going. So you've got to enforce yourself into um, making a decision on a regular basis. So that's if, hopefully that then says the whole well-being of that sheep is, um, it may be skinny, but it will be happy, healthy, well-being sheep, if you like, you know, um, or not necessarily healthy, but you know, but, but it won't, it shouldn't affect the, it shouldn't reduce the survival rates by very much.